What's going on guys, it's Patrick here. Welcome back to the channel. And today guys, we are back with another Fortnite top 10, looking at the top 10 hidden chests within the new Fortnite update. So as you guys were probably aware, there were a ton of hidden and secret chests within the original Fortnite map. And with the update of 10 new locations, there's been a whole bunch of new chests added, but a lot of these are actually quite hidden and secret. And today we'll be looking at the top 10 most secret ones. But as always guys, we're running a giveaway for $25 in V-Bucks, so if you're new to the channel, to enter, all you have to do is be subscribed and just comment down below what your favorite new location within the Fortnite map is. Other than that though guys, let's get into it. So coming in at our number 10 spot guys, this is going to be a hidden chest on the mountain just west of the big new factory. Now this is a bit of an interesting one because it's really random. So basically you can just spawn in on this one and it's right next to this rock and a toilet. It's almost like this what this used to be like a bathroom or something and it just got absolutely destroyed and there's actually just a chest on the other side of that toilet. Now although this chest location is not super beneficial if you're going solo because I mean really you've got the factory right beside it with all these chests, I think it's actually a pretty good place to go if you're in a squad rolling up to this area because you've got you know teammates to compete with for all the chests. This is like one of those low key ones that you can just go hit really quickly and then continue on through your way through the factory. Now a lot of these other chests in the factory aren't too hidden, but there is one to note just behind the dumpster, sort of on that west side next to the mountain. Um, there's another one beneath one of the buildings that's kind of like this like secret staircase. Um, there's a whole bunch like in dump trucks as well as in the building that is the exact same as the original factory, as well as a whole bunch scattered throughout this area. Overall, I honestly think that the new factory is one of the best places to go looking for chests just simply because there are so many. It's amazing if you show up there solo by yourself. It's amazing if you show up with a squad. It's it's just it's just a great spot. Um, and that is like one of just those hidden chests that you may not have known about in this area. All right, now moving down to our number nine spot. In Haunted Hills, there is actually a secret sort of hidden chest underneath the big castle, but um, Haunted Hills kind of sucks. So let's just move on. All right, so coming in at our number eight spot, guys, this is going to be a truck located just between Snobby Shores and the soccer stadium, as I like to call the Cougar Dome. Now, this is just another one of those completely random chests, but it's really good to know if you end up landing at Snobby, because usually what people do is they land at Snobby, get looted, and then continue on, usually over to the soccer stadium. And this is like right in the middle, but it's kind of out of the way and it's something that you might not notice. Now it's not something that I really recommend just like instantly going for, unless maybe you see a lot of heat at the, at the Cougar Dome or the, the uh, Snobby Shores, but it's definitely something worth noting if you're ever traveling in that little sort of passageway. If I do go for that chest, what I usually like to do is just continue on to the soccer stadium, clean anybody up, and there's a lot of chests here as well. So overall, it's a pretty good strategy to run and then you can continue on to Tilted Towers. All right, now moving down to our number seven hidden chest, we actually have a few which are located in tilted towers, and these are the chests located behind cabinets. So throughout the entire area, there's a bunch of these cabinets which will actually contain a chest behind it. Now the thing about these chests is although they're not something you're going to be like going out of your way to get, they're really good to know because essentially what you can do is like if you're ever in this building, you're, you know, maybe you're, you're not, you, you're low on supplies, obviously tilted is majorly hectic, it's really good to know some of these spots just in case you're needing an extra chest. In this gameplay, I show you locations of one of the more eastern houses closer over to like the rest side of the map. And there's another one that's actually located in the big business building, but these could actually spawn all over the area. All right, now moving down to our number six spot, guys, this is actually going to be the motel truck. So you guys are probably familiar now with these sort of hidden like back of the, the big transfer truck things, but this is a bit of an interesting one because I, I think Epic Games got a little smart. They're like, all right, the people are getting on to the back of the trucks. So what they did is they actually have it a little bit hidden where you essentially have these boxes sort of covering it up and you can't actually see it unless you really know to be looking for it. Now, why I like this chest location is I think in general, the motel is a very underrated place to go, especially in solo for chests. You can get a total of roughly five to six chests with lucky spawns, and that is amazing if you're there by yourself. Most of the chests are located in pretty predictable spots, but that is one that is actually very unknown. The other thing that's really nice is just beside the motel, there's some broken down houses, you know, your typical broken buildings, which, you know, they're just kind of like scattered on top of the houses and stuff like that. Um, so there's a lot of chests you can actually find 
in the motel. The other thing that's nice about the motel is if you're not the most competent player, it's a really good spot to sort of, you know, get a few chests, sort of stay off the beaten path because it is almost on the, the northern shore of the island. So it's a really good starting point to find a ton of chests, continue on with your game, and, uh, you know, maybe get a nice dub. Now moving down to our number five spot, guys, this is going to be the Tilted Tower Clock Tower. So this is one of those really hit or miss places. I'm showing gameplay of basically three different outcomes that you can get. Um, one being really bad and two being fairly good. So if you actually land directly on top of the clock tower, you can get up to three chests just by dropping down. So in the first gameplay, you're gonna see nothing. Um, the second one, what actually happens is there's one chest located in the top of the clock tower as well as an ammo box, which is, is kind of all right. But you can actually sometimes see as you're flying in that there'll be two chests chests located in this area. So directly on top, you break down through the clock tower, you're going to see two chests right there, which is an awesome start already, especially for Tilted. It's so hectic. And then if you actually keep breaking down, sometimes you'll have a chest in the middle of this section, or just like basically on these sort of like, like pieces of wood. So three chests just to start the game it can be an absolutely huge start especially for a place that's as hectic as Tilted. Now, obviously, Tilted has got a million different chest locations, so this is kind of nice because you can hit these three, continue on your way, get a bunch of kills. You're already going to be probably much more stocked up than a lot of people, maybe full shield, so really, really nice play to begin this map. So overall, it's just a very nice play to start out your game at Tilted. Now, moving down to the number four spot, we have our hidden chests of Shifty Shafts. And this was a bit of an interesting gameplay because on my way to Shifty, I saw that there were actually two chests at the broken battle buses, which is kind of a low-key spot, and I wanted to throw that in. I was actually going to use this location for my last video, and I didn't end up. So just as a pro tip, you can actually get two chest spawns at the broken battle bus, which is kind of nice. But let's move on to Shifty. So within the mines of Shifty itself, there are actually two hidden chests that you can find. Now you see on the gameplay here, one of the spots had already been broken up, but before I killed this guy, he had actually broken through this area, and it's just like sort of this solid piece of wood that sort of prevents you from seeing it. And this one that you're seeing on the screen right now is sort of the exact same as the one we were just at, minus that sort of piece of wood. Now I'm putting this so high up on the list because I feel like there's really not a lot of chests at Shifty considering what a popular area it tends to be. So these are two spots that you should really know if you're a fan of going here. And just on top of a bonus, as you see on a lot of the areas, you can actually get one in some of the dump trucks. So another thing to look out for. If you really want to get aggressive, you can go over to the nearby houses which were added in and then you have the typical chest spawn sort of in the ceilings. And then if you really want to go ham, you can continue on towards Tilted Towers up the mountain. There's actually another one of those sort of wooden structures and at the top of that you're going to find another chest. From here, continue on to Tilted Towers, go on a tear, and uh, get easy wins. Now coming in at our number three spot, guys, I think this is going to be one that a lot of you don't know. It's actually the hidden basement of this sort of back left building of Tilted Tower. So basically you want to go through and you'll see here I get this first chest that's just like in a very normal area, but you'll notice that there are actually these boxes blocking this hidden stairway. And in this area you can actually get not one, but two chests. So you see I open up one and this next gameplay there's not one there, but there's actually another one which can spawn on those back sort of pallets. So not only is this a more out of the way sort of nice spot to go, there's actually a total of four chests which could spawn in this area at best odds. And that's a really nice start for Tilted. Anyways, I'm sorry to all you people out there that knew this location because it really is one of those more low key areas within the game. Number two the hidden basement of Snobby Shores. So this is an area that was originally pretty low key. I feel like it's gaining traction, but it is really nice to know. In the southernmost house, the one to the leftmost, if you're looking at it um, from anywhere but the coast, there is actually a hidden basement. All you have to do is walk into the house and just simply break the floor. And there are a total of three chests which can spawn in this basement. Now it's really nice because I feel like a vast majority of the people that play Fortnite right now don't actually know about this this basement. So they go to this place and their experience has been like, ah, it's not really the best house to go, but that's because no one knows about this basement. Now actually sort of fun fact is a lot of people say it's like you, you have to break the floor. There's actually sort of like this 
hidden like back area which was you'll see in the gameplay I walk up the stairs and it, it's literally just like sort of hidden from view uh, basically being hidden um, by a cabinet so you don't actually have to break the floor but I mean it's probably the best way you're gonna want to go anyways you'll usually probably see about two chests spawn in there but at best luck you can actually get three from here you can continue on check out the rest of the house and there's also a spawn for a chest in this sort of big treehouse building like just outside of this house now I wanted to do a sort of honorable mention for this video and it is going to go to the secret chest hidden within the llama. So just north of Junk Junction, basically the northernmost point of the entire map, you guys have probably seen if you've gone here, a llama. And a lot of people I think know about this area just because it's it's such like an obvious Fortnite play to put chests in their llama um, but you know just for anyone that doesn't know this is not just an aesthetic thing and you can actually find a total of two chests one on the very topmost area and the other can be found sort of towards the bottom level it's not the greatest area but if you are going to junk junction with a team you can have one person go to the llama the other three split off to actual junk and then continue on through your way but anyways though guys coming in at our number one spot we have the secret umbrella mine. So for those of you that don't play towards the top part of the map, you may not even know about this mine, but there was this new mine that's actually in the shape of an umbrella, which is kind of cool, and it was added just sort of in the like northwestern area of the map. It's located just next to all the ruined houses, which is sort of in the exact same area as like Pleasant and the motel. So basically all you have to do is go down to the bottom of this mine and I mean, oh my god Patrick, I, I totally knew about this spot, yeah, there's a hidden chest. But what a lot of people don't know is that you can actually find another hidden chest behind this hidden chest. So you just continue on, break the wall, break the rocks, and you will almost always get a second chest out of this area. I really think this is one of the nicest hidden chests in this new update because it's like, oh, I'm so smart, yeah, look, I found a chest, you know, you think you're like, woo, but there's actually like another like second level of, of cleverness to those people that, you know, like, hmm, I see what you're doing here, Fortnite, I see what you're doing at the game, so it's not something you're really going to go to at the start of a game, but if you head to the motel or even the ruined houses, you can obviously hit this area up, and you're almost guaranteed to be good for two chests. Other than that though guys, I think that is going to wrap it up. So again, if you want to get in on that giveaway for $25 worth of V-Bucks, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and comment down below what your favorite new area within the Fortnite update is. I just want to thank you guys so much for all the support on the recent videos. It's actually like insane high. I don't even understand what's going on right now with the channel, but it is really just so amazing to see. So thank you guys so much. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Thank you for the support. Gonna keep making Fortnite videos and uh, keep on trekking on. That's it. We're good. Hope you learned something new. If you didn't, I'm sorry. I guess I suck. But uh, that's it. Peace.